then it's a VO and a shot. It's Wednesday, October 28, 1998. The newsroom at WIXT Television in Syracuse, New York, is a beehive of activity. Members of its staff seem preoccupied, covering yet another unconscionable domestic assault. Jill Cahill has already been in the hospital for six months and gone through more than a dozen operations. She was terribly injured when she was beaten with a baseball bat at her Spafford home last spring. Her husband is charged with assault for that, and now police say James Cahill snuck into his wife's hospital room last night and attacked her again, this time with cyanide. Across town at WSTM-TV, Colleen O'Brien, a counselor at Vera House, is interviewed about the broader issue behind this story, domestic violence. Later that evening, back at the hospital, hope runs out. Jill Cahill is removed from life support. It's been over three years, and we're still picking up the pieces. The children still scream out at night. The children still have fear. They're afraid he's going to escape from jail. Come here because he knows where we live. He might come here and kill all of us. How horrible. For 12-year-olds and 7-year-olds to have to go to sleep at night, close their eyes, and worry about that. Sandy Scotia lost her daughter, Leanne, to domestic violence. Sandy and her husband, Frank, never suspected their daughter was in an abusive relationship. But then one night, the telephone rang, and when Sandy answered, all she could hear was screaming before the phone was hung up. She immediately called her daughter's home. And my granddaughter answered. And I said, hi, honey. Where's mommy? She said she's laying on the floor there's blood all over. Daddy stabbed her and stabbed her and stabbed her. I think she's dead. We tried to understand what could possibly make someone become so outrageous that they could pick up a knife and stab if not the one they loved, but the mother of their children, in our case, 26 times, in front of them. We lost our beautiful daughter. Thank goodness he spared those three beautiful children. Sometimes that doesn't even happen. 